The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from Rovers fans and welcome to another video here on Rovers Chat. I'm Ollie Walker Peel and today we'll be running you through another new signing for Rovers, this time Ian Perveda from Leeds on a season long loan. Now this one has come out of nowhere really, if we're being honest, but nonetheless very, very happy to bring it to you. Bit of housekeeping to do before we start though, we are of course sponsored by Blue Rose Capital and SixYardsOut.com. So let's have a look then, Ian Perveda. What a sign this is for Rovers. Obviously, a winger, formerly of Manchester City in terms of academy football, moved across to Leeds, um, and he's got quite an illustrious academy career, to be fair. It's not just Manchester City. Some of the clubs on that list are mental. Here we go. Chelsea started at Chelsea 2007 to 2010, then to Arsenal from 2010 to 2012, and Barcelona from 2012 to 2014. Brentford 14 to 16, Man City 20, um, 16 to 2019, graduated from the academy and then moved to Leeds in 2020, where he's made 18 league appearances for the Yorkshire side. Um, in terms of in all competitions, he has made what is that? That will be 20, league, uh, 20 appearances in all competition for Leeds, including 18 in the league, four in the championship, 14 in the Premier League. You've got one in the FA Cup and one in the League Cup. Takes you to 20 appearances. He came through the uh, the Chelsea Academy, same time as Rhys James and also Rian Brewster, who obviously is at Sheffield United now. But um, he's been at some brilliant, brilliant clubs during his youth career. And now he's with Rovers. Been capped up all the way to on the 20 level for England and has Colombian heritage. He's a winger. And I tell you what, I think he'll do a lot for Rovers this season. Now, obviously, there's an area that we do need strengthening. We do have Tyrese Dolan on the right-hand side. And we've been playing sort of Sam Gallagher out on the left at times for, for Rovers and Ben Britt and Diaz also during the last few years. It's definitely something we need to strengthen. Whatever What that means for the front three, whether it means we play Brio Central and Pervader out on the left or play Pervader out on the right, I'm not too sure. I haven't really seen a lot of him, to be fair. But what, from what I have seen, he's been decent. He's a quick winger. He's direct. He'll um, look to drive to, uh, towards goal. And I think he'll um, do a lot for us in the blue and white shirt. So, obviously, a season-long loan deal. Another loan deal, but, again, it's bodies to the door, isn't it? So, uh, hopefully, it's a good one for us. He made his debut on the 21st of June, 2020. Second off, substituting a 2-0 two, uh, two defeat against Cardiff. That was, in, obviously, the COVID season. Uh, signed by Marcelo Bielsa and contracted until 2024 at Leeds. But... Um, but yeah, there you go. Definitely promising signing for Rovers. Um, his first Premier League game uh, was in Sheffield United at the start of last season. So um, definitely one that leads rate quite highly. It's a massive scalp for Rovers. I think should tear the Championship apart. Would do do would go a fair way. I should assume in uh, replacing the void left by Harvey Elliott. Obviously, we started the season okay without him, but obviously we are going to need those goals and assists that Harvey was able to provide last season. And how um, Pervader might be able to fit the bill. In terms of that, um, I've messaged a couple of Leeds fans. I've tried to. I've not got a response back yet. Um, they're probably best to um, to judge Pervader more than uh, more than any of us could. Uh, he plays uh, predominantly as a winger or a forward, capable of playing on both flanks as an attacking midfielder or a false nine. Um, and then Manchester Evening Post uh, describing him as having a trick, uh, being trickery, uh, having trickery rather, and an eye for goal. Um, an attacking player can play right wing, left wing on the attacking midfield. So, um, definitely one highly rated. You can see the clubs that he's been at throughout his youth career. You know, you're not a bad player if you're playing for, for Chelsea, Arsenal, Barcelona, Man City. And then if Marcelo Bielsa wants you, you've got to have something about you. So, you know, you've got to, he's got to be a good player for Rovers. You did think so. In the Championship as well, he might well tear this league apart. We're all hoping so. Has a little bit more quality, a little bit more driving. Maybe the whole pessimism in the beginning of the season starts to seep away a little bit or fade away a little bit. Um, maybe now we can, you know, with the injection of quality like this, maybe we might be able to adjust our aspirations positively. Uh, maybe look towards that upper, under the ta uh, upper top of the table. Because obviously we know that Pervader's got out of this division before um, with Leeds. Obviously got promoted. 
didn't play too many times in that league season for Leeds, only four championship appearances, but he's got out of this division before. And if he plays under Marcelo Bielsa, he's going to be fit. He's going to uh, have a lot about him. Um, I don't know how often he's played for Leeds, if he's been in the matchday squad at all, for Leeds early in this season. Um, they do have a cup game coming up, as I recall, this very, very soon against Crow Alexandra. Um, but obviously in the two league games so far, they've got absolutely battered by Manchester United um, at Old Trafford. Um, didn't start there, um, wasn't on the bench either, was um, Pereira. Um, I don't know if he played against... Um, I don't know if he played against us in the friendly. I can't remember. I can't remember him playing, if I'm being honest. So um, he might not have played in that game. Um, in terms of the weekend, he wasn't on the bench either for Leeds. So he hasn't played much so far this season. But one that's played, you know, a little bit last season as well. Um, obviously for Leeds. I think I watched him in a game against West Ham and was quite impressed. Um, at Ellen Road last season, I thought he was decent. So um, we've got a player on our hands, to be fair. I'm just going to quickly check if he played in that um Game four leads. Um, obviously, they did have a lot of players ahead of him in that position. Obviously, the likes of Jack Harrison and Rafinha and the like um, probably exemplifies that. But um, but Pavada is definitely one that we can uh, we can look at. Um, I think he will play on the wing. I think false nine. I don't think he's. Um, oh, he'll play false nine. He might do. Um, but with the players we've got there, the likes of Brit potentially playing through the middle or. Uh, Tyrese Dolan playing through the middle or even Leighton Clarkson at parts of the weekend played through the middle as well so I think we've got a lot of players that can play that position but um, I don't think Pervader I don't think we need him to play that position but um, definitely on the wing it adds a little bit of depth for us um, he wasn't in the squad either when he played us so I didn't think he was so um, maybe a little bit um, down on match fitness but I think one player for Rovers that we could definitely count upon this upcoming season. So, Rovers fans, in the comments, let us know what you think of the signing in Perveda to Rovers on a season-long loan deal from Ellen Road to Ewood Park. Absolutely buzzing with it. Yet another signing. Um, so, uh, we'll have to sort of see how he goes. Um, hopefully, he has a decent uh, season with us. Um, and then, who knows, whatever happens, could be a permanent signing after that. Um, but that's too far down the track to determine that. So, I've been Oliver Walker Peel. Thank you for joining me. Today to review the signing of Ian Pervader. Let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe to Rovers Chat if you are enjoying our content. Make sure to like the video, turn the notification, uh, notification bell on uh, so you don't miss any of our content. We'll send you out with the reminders, of course, that we are sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. Goodbye for now. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods, including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.